Now, Stormwatch 12 weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Hoffman. Plenty of sunshine over Mount Shasta, but not a lot of snow on the mountain. It's been a very quiet stretch so far in October. There is a little bit of hope at least that we will start to get into a little bit more of an active weather pattern. But for now, today it's still pretty warm. 85 degrees currently in Mount Shasta, warmer than yesterday. But most of us are seeing at least uh, several degree a cooler temperatures than what we were seeing just 24 hours ago. We were in the low 90s in the Rogue Valley. Had a few passing high clouds today. A lot of that has cleared out. It's 84 in Grants Pass and Medford. 80 right now in Klamath Falls and Lakeview, 85 in Montague and cool along the coast, 59 degrees in Brookings where that marine layer has uh, things socked in with cloud cover for at least Brookings and we'll see more of that for the coast as we head into tonight. Some low clouds also developing through parts of Jackson and Josephine County overnight. Some higher level clouds but staying mainly clear for the east side and Siskiyou County. Temperatures will still be chilly through Klamath and Lake County down to the 30s in Klamath Falls and Lakeview, 50 the overnight low in Medford. Your bus stop forecast in the Rogue Valley, cool tomorrow, increased clouds. So it's not going to be as warm in the afternoon. Temperatures will be in the 70s for the kids as they head home from school. Winds will be a bit breezy up in the higher elevations, up in the mountains, and then also along the coast. But uh, the big impact from this system, a very weak one that's going to roll through the Pacific Northwest is some cooler temperatures. A lot of 70s for the day tomorrow for our inland valleys, 68 for high in Brookings with some breezy conditions. But we're going to stay mainly dry. Unfortunately, fires to the north have become more active as of late, and we're going to have to watch as we head into Thursday. We might get some of the smoke and haze uh, to push into parts of southern Oregon. At least we'll be watching that closely for the coast. It stays fairly quiet the rest of the week. We'll have it definitely more in the way of clouds and cooler temperatures compared to what we saw last week. We're keeping an eye though on a system late Friday into Saturday that could bring some showers to the region including the coast and even the Rogue Valley. But the next few days will stay dry. Temperatures back up into the low 80s Thursday and Friday. Here's a look at Stormcast as we head into tomorrow. Notice those increased clouds throughout Southern Oregon and Northern California as we go through the day on your Wednesday. That cloud cover sticking around for the most part, a mix, a good mix of clouds and at least some sun on Thursday. But as we head towards Friday, we should see some decreasing clouds in the region and all eyes will be on this system off to the west. There's still some differences in the forecast models on exactly how it's going to track, but there is still that potential that we could see some showers in the region on Saturday. Saturday, maybe a more promising system into early next week uh, that could bring a little bit more widespread wet weather to the region, but uh, nothing that's looking terribly impressive or that's going to end fire season at this point. But we'll be tracking things closely for you. In the meantime, breezy at the coast tomorrow. Slight chance of showers on Saturday for Northern California. Temperatures notice not as warm over the next seven days, but mostly we'll be seeing fairly above average temperatures. A slight chance for showers on Saturday. We'll also have that potential in the basin on Saturday. There will be a little bit of a cool down into the weekend as well up into the mountains. Breezy the next few days, definitely increased clouds, but likely staying dry through the rest of the work week. And then in the Rogue Valley, those uh, temperatures uh, dipping into the 70s tomorrow, at least a little bit closer to average, but uh, right back up into the low 80s Thursday and Friday. But you'll notice next Tuesday, low 70s. So that will actually be fairly seasonal for this time of the year, and it could come with some showers, which we definitely could use. But uh, yeah, we're still kind of waiting to get into this kind of fall swing of a system after system. But yeah, and hopefully next week we see see some better news. It's looking a little bit more promising, so we'll watch it. Looks like it's on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Matt.